Grown Giant Center. Today we're in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Yes, Northern Ireland outside Little O's Pizzeria. Here to take on Ireland's largest pizza. Yes, Ireland's largest pizza. So this is a 33 inch pie. It is very, very, very large. Um, you do have to pick two toppings minimum, but you can pick more if you'd like. And it is a $100 pound, I want to say cash, I guess that works, $100 cash prize if you complete it. That being said, if you beat the record, you actually get $200 or 200 pounds. That being said, you do pay 50 pounds for the pizza regardless. So technically, if you, you know, just beat it in the 45 minute time limit, you do win a net game of 50 pounds. If you beat it in the record of 23 minutes, and I think it's 40 something seconds, you do get 150 net pound game. So that's pretty cool. So with that, let's head on in. Let's have some fun. I'll get you some more details. I'll go pick my toppings. And uh, that's about that, guys. Um, I believe only three people have ever beaten this. Uh, one being uh, Mr. Kyle versus Food, who set the record. Uh, another being Randy Santel, and I'm not sure who else beat it. So anyway, let's head in, let's have some fun. Little O's Pizzeria, let's get some food. Hi everybody, so here we are with the pie. It's absolutely massive. Um, correction, the record was uh, 23 something. Just so about 22, 23 minutes. Well, I'll let you know the record here momentarily. So like we said, we do have the giant pie in front of us. Looks absolutely delicious. I went with uh, three quarters ham and uh, green pepper, which is usually my favorite topping. But then I also chose a quarter of red onion and peri-peri chicken, although there's a full pound of chicken on this and I might not have went with that if I would have known. So it's definitely a lot of big heavy portion, but and guys, look at the size of these slices. These are absolutely massive. I mean, this pie, this pizza in general is just bigger than I am. All right, everybody, so I'm ready to get rocking and rolling. Restaurant's ready as well. Hey, Scott, can you give me a timer? Good friend, Mr. Scott, who Scott is now the record holder of tw at 23, 23? I believe 23, you said 20. Yeah. 20 to make it nice and easy. Absolutely, guys, passing it on. Okay. So I'm definitely excited. So, um, anywhere is fine. Okay. Yeah, that works. So how about we get a rock in and a roll on this? It's definitely a very, a, I mean, I love the thickness. This is my style of pizza. So how about we get going? We're saying the count of about three, two, one. Let's eat. Mm. How do you feel? Got some sauce. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at Little O's taking on the largest, the biggest challenge in Northern Ireland, which believe it or not, for those who are not aware, is a different country than Ireland. So you have Ireland, then you have Northern Ireland. So we were going for this huge, huge, huge pizza, especially difficult because we had to beat a record. I am enjoying it, good flavor on it. Like we said, you do get a small $50 or 50 pound prize for just general completion in the time limit. However, you do get the 150 net gain should you actually beat the record. So again, the record being 23x minutes by my good friend, Mr. Scott. Um, as it was a record challenge, we had to kind of stagger it. So he decided to go first, I decided to go after. It's actually very, very delicious. Here we had a large variety of different toppings. As I mentioned, I went with ham green pepper. That's kind of my favorite. Well, at least like standard, uh, we'll say pizza challenge topping, if you know what I'm saying. Um, let me know your favorite toppings down below. Let me know your favorite combination. Let's go, Joel! Yeah! Definitely the biggest slice here. This is massive. Uh, that being said, we'll get this peri peri gun down. And then I went with again the red onion and the peri peri chicken after having uh, peri peri chicken in another challenge uh, quite recently for the first time. I really liked it. Although I really say they did put a lot of toppings on it, being a full pound of chicken in that one quarter. So I knew we were going to get our protein definitely for the day. It was a really nice style of pizza. In fact, all the pizzas I had in the United Kingdom, Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom was kind of this style. I'll call it like a bit thinner of a crust. 
um, which is my preference. I don't want to call it like, I don't really want to call it New York style because I don't feel that is, you know, quite suitable, but arguably similar to New York style. I'm not a big fan of big, thick crusts by any means. And this was uh, definitely really perfect in that capacity. This is my style of pizza. Um, I'm also, you let me know down below guys, if you know that is also kind of standard throughout the United Kingdom, maybe also Europe. Um, but yeah, this th style of pizza is definitely my favorite. Uh, so like we said, absolutely massive pie. We were hoping to get that cash, hoping to get that free pizza. And that's pretty much the majority of it. Uh, it was really, really, really cool up here in Northern Ireland. The people were incredibly friendly. The staff here were very nice as well. Uh, not too many people had ever attempted this um, challenge successfully. Uh, like I said, there was only, well, I guess three, three or four in all of uh, eternity. And there had been hundreds and hundreds of attempts, they said. I love that song. Um, but that's pretty much that. Uh, we did have to give advance notice, but besides that, guys, I will let you tune on in. We'll see what happens. And uh, like I said, I'll tell you what I think about the pizza throughout. So with that, let's get a rockin' and a rollin'. And, oh, don't forget, don't forget, you don't want to miss the extra footage we have of Northern Ireland after the video. So with that, let's get to it. Everybody four minutes in, very, very good. Are you like the flavor? I have a ham and green pepper. And another mash of these. Man, they cut these pieces big. That is for sure. Alright. The extra sauce, of course, is not required. That's my preference. I love, I love sauce. And the maple sauce here is very good. We're just over six minutes in. Better keep this up. And I'm prepared. Guys, eight minutes in, basically half done pizza. Ten minutes in, everybody. <laughs> Three giant slices left. Absolutely giant. And we are coming to I may dunk the crust. We'll see how it goes. Good. Yeah, really. Thank you. And huge thanks to the uh, Irish hospitality. We have lots of hospitality. Pour out this diet coke. Did you enjoy soda? Soda and pizza goes real well. Hi, everybody. Here we go. Just under 15 minutes.
All righty. Here we go, guys. All right, let's go, George. Yeah. Last piece on a pile of crap. I still think this is the better part of the pizza. I'm not a crust guy. Let me know if, if you like the crust, or I guess the middle down below. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Compliments to the chef. As a precaution, we're going to definitely wet a few of these crusts. Might be a little difficult. We only got a few minutes left. Okay. Uh, for dessert, build up the Oh man, much easier dumping it. <laughs> much easier. Woo! A lot less of a job work out. Hi everybody, we are 20 minutes, 40 seconds in. Very delicious, no complaints. Good sized pie, good sized pizza. Apparently the largest in Ireland, so. The old record, 23-23. I'm sure we leave no doubt. So I got a nice third 50 seconds to enjoy my last piece, which is not soggy and just straight sauce. So let's get it going. So 23 minutes, 18 seconds, the new record. Um, so for that, we do get the 200 pounds, although technically it's only a net gain of 150. Um, but pretty cool, guys. So huge thanks to everybody here. We got Yay! Irish. I am so glad I got to experience in Ireland, in a, I'll call it a pub, but you know, a restaurant, the Ole, the famous, you know, kind of Irish song there. So that, everybody. Appreciate you. Huge thanks to all the staff as well. They've been very, very, very friendly. And uh, I got no complaints. So yeah, like we said, guys, you're in the area. It is a good pizza. If you want to try it, just give them a heads up. You do let them know in advance. I would not recommend anybody eating this pizza actually this big by themselves. Uh, you know, you can share it with, you can share it with a lot of people. What does this feed, like eight people? And, and more, more, 10 people. <laughs> I mean, even one. I mean, you can get it cut smaller, but that's one slice was like, it was huge, bigger than my torso. So that everybody like I said, that's about it. Ireland, lots more to come. Northern Ireland, you've been a dream.
Belfast, thank you so much. So. So not everybody, that's about it. So of course, the next time, say happy the hungry, happy eating. That's how big this box is, I can barely reach the camera. And of course, the next time, have a lovely day. All right, everyone, and not only did we make it to Ireland, but we made it to Northern Ireland. We kind of drove up here, got the rental car, two hours, here we are. Outside Belfast Castle, so definitely pretty sizable, pretty sizable. Apparently it's 18th or 19th century, so it's not super, super old. But guys, look at these grounds. This is what is absolutely stellar and stunning, the grounds and this view. Beautiful view of the water out here. I love the harbor, big kind of cliff overview. So anyway, we'll see what this is all about. Northern Ireland, my first time being here. I'm excited, should be good. People have been super friendly. Huge thanks to our friends Helen and all of them. Guys, they were super, super kind to us. Always appreciate people reaching out, whether it be showing us around, supporting the travels, whatever it may be. Really appreciate the local support. And, uh, yeah, so now Northern Ireland, which is a different country than Ireland. If you didn't know, now you know. And so let's see what this beautiful country has to offer. And here we have what apparently is an Ireland exclusive. I don't know if it's in Northern Ireland or just Ireland, but definitely in the Isle of Ireland. Ireland. This is called Sparkling Red Lemonade. I asked if it was similar to a pink lemonade in North America. They said no. They said it tastes like chemicals. So let's try some Sparkling Red Lemonade, an Irish drink. So here we go guys, and of course I got the zero because I ain't about that sugar sweet beverage life. Sparkling red lemonade, so. Okay, definitely get lemon. Kind of smells like lemonade. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It mostly just tastes like lemonade. Maybe I get like 5% kind of fruit punch flavor. But it's pretty much lemonade, in my opinion. But hey, we gotta try it. Irish sparkling red lemonade. So a little bit about the castle. So it has 365 windows, seven different floors, and costs an estimate only 11,000 pounds, guys. That would be the equivalent of like, I don't know, let's say 15,000 American dollars. Wow, I wish you could buy, or even buy land for that, let alone build a castle for that. Um, the castle was built by the third Marquis of Donegal, 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 uh, with in the family's Deer Park estate on the Atrium Road, Antrim, Antrim Road. He employed the architect John Lanyon, who drew up design based on the Scottish baronial style of Balmoral Castle. I'm definitely not familiar with all these words. Uh, because of the escalating costs, it was left to the son-in-law of the Marquis, Lord Ashley, to pay for the castle, which was completed in the 1870s. So definitely a lot more you know, recent than some of the other castles we saw. And then there was a bit of an extension in the latter years. Uh, that's kind of the most interesting. We have a chapel built as well. And then just kind of talking about the area, it's by uh, what they call the uh, Cave Hill, which is a very famous like hike. They used to do, they do uh, like they found some diamonds there. They do dining. And unfortunately guys, unfortunately as it is, we actually can't go into the majority of the castle today. We are down to stairs here and we go into the cafe and stuff because the, uh, the cafe or the wedding, the castle, the ca main part of the castle is closed the castle due to the wedding. Closed. So, you know, we can see what we can. We'll see the gardens and see what else this little place has to offer. So coming outside, we do have a again beautiful view of the countryside, a little bit of the water, and we have then this beautiful spiral staircase which actually splits in a dual fashion. And then again, the actual kind of architecture and I don't know if you necessarily call this the front or the back of the castle, but whatever one faces the water, and then normally you could go in these buildings, uh, or these rooms I should say, potentially have uh, dinner and such, but again, there is a wedding in play. And to see the castle grounds, the gardens, there's some beautiful flowers. Interestingly, it is, uh, although it is summer here, the definitely the base temperatures that we get here in uh, Northern Ireland are not quite what we might be used to in a lot of North America. I mean, it's sitting at like, high 70s, 20 degrees, and people are more than content. They have this uh, fountain as well. I think so just 
really nicely well groomed manicured area people from the wedding party and good stuff and then the castle itself gorgeous all right everybody and while we're in belfast a very famous belfast individual is mr c.s lewis most famous for his works being the lion the witch and the wardrobe but a very famous author apparently very very skilled in fact apparently he wrote the lion the witch and the wardrobe as a near perfect or perfect draft yes yeah, so like per first off the go when he was really really young i want to say in his late teens early 20s something like that really cool history so they have kind of some uh like the big lion thing from uh what is it asban or whatever we also have statues over here of the, I think they're the beavers. Yeah, the beavers here. We, we actually, I've got some uh, written memorable of them. Mr. and Mrs. Beaver. If you guys are familiar with the children's story line, which the wardrobe. So here we go. We got uh, Mr. and Mrs. Beaver. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Beaver take care of the children when they arrive in Narnia and offer a place to shelter. Fiercely loyal to Aslan. Yes, yeah, so that was the uh, lion. They represent all the upright citizens of Narnia. They lead the children to a journey of safety to be united with Aslan. And I know there's a couple other statues too around. Oh yeah, we got maybe one over here. This one looks maybe more like a wolf. Uh, I see some, uh, some different art here as well, which is pretty cool. Let's go see what this one is. So if you're not familiar with the story of the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, well, I won't spoil it for you essentially, but essentially it's where uh, children go through a magical wardrobe that brings them to a mystical world called Arnonia. This is called Mogrim, so it looks like a wolf. Mogrim is a ferocious talking wolf who acts as the chief of the secret police under the control of the White Witch, who's the evil person. He has the thirst for blood and violence and stands guard for the door of the witch's house. Cool. And there might even be another uh, statue or two. Maybe over here. Let's go see. I think we got one more, maybe. Uh, there's only supposed to be a couple, but I am already see three. This would be, I think, maybe four, which is pretty cool. Some uh, interesting art and whatever here. And this is... Oh, I think this is the fawn. Fawn. He was he was friendly too. Mr. Tumnus. I remember that. Mr. Tumnus is a fawn. Half human, half goat. And he's the first character that Lucy meets when she arrives in Narnia. He is a peace-loving, thoughtful character who lives in the woods and plays magical tunes on his flute. So pretty cool, guys. And uh, if there's any other more of them, I'll show you. But again, just I guess a uh, very famous Belfast uh, originating individual. Uh, he had a very successful career from my understanding. I think he taught at some university and maybe even down in the, uh, in Britain or over in Britain, I guess you'd say. But uh, yeah, cool stuff. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.